Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to our council meeting, a regular council meeting held here at the council chambers at 5 p.m. here, Monday, February 10th already, 2020. First on the agenda tonight, welcome. Uh, uh, Megan uh, is here with us as a junior uh, council member, so we wanna welcome her this evening, and she'll be speaking a little later, we understand. First thing on the agenda tonight is approval of minutes from the regular council meeting, a strategic planning and priorities meeting that was held on January 27th, 2020. Do I have a motion, please? I'll make that motion, Your Worship. Thank you, Councillor Mickle. I'll second that. <coughs> Thank you, Your Worship. Councillor Chessel. Is there any errors or omissions in the minutes that we received? If none, all in favor? And that is carried unanimously. Um, any additions, Mr. Warren? Your Worship, there's none from administration tonight. Okay, from council? Nothing, very good. There are no public hearings, no delegations tonight, and no reports on standing committee. And with saying that tonight, that takes me halfway through our agenda already, so uh, that could be a shorter meeting. Uh, consent agenda, please. We you shall a make a motion that the water treatment plant report for January 2020 be accepted as presented. And a seconder, please. I can second that, Your Worship. Thank you. Any discussion from council? If not, all in favor? That is carried unanimously. A motion on counts payable, please. Your Worship, I'll move that purchase in the amount of $891,777.12 from January 24th to February 6th, 2020 be approved. Thank you. Seconder, please. I'll second that, Your Worship. Thank you. Any questions on accounts of payable? Then not, all in favor? And that is also carried unanimously. Introduction of bylaw. And I'll call on Director of Finance Massal to uh, review this with us, please. Okay, so on the last council meeting on January 27th, um, we approved a bylaw. Uh, 2020 3407 to have the creation of debt through MFC at the rate of 2.70%. Um, last week they called me and they were like, oh, I have good news and I have bad news. We didn't get that rate. We didn't get it locked in, but the good news was it is now at a lower rate. So it's at 2.55% and they have locked that in. So we just need an amendment to the bylaw so that we can get that rate and proceed with the loan. So what we're voting on tonight or discussing tonight or in the bylaw is to basically save us some money. That's correct. That's It'll good. save us about 15,000 per year over the 15 years. 15,000 per year over 15 years. That's fairly yeah. significant. So do we have a motion please? Your Worship, I'd like to make motion that bylaw 2020 3408 to amend bylaw 2020 3407, the City of Weyburn borrowing bylaw for the purpose of obtaining a lower borrowing rate of interest to be read a first time. Seconder, please. <clears throat> I'll second that, Your Worship. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, all in favor? And that is carried unanimously. Your Worship, I'd like to make the motion that bylaw 2020 3408 to amend bylaw 2020 3407, the City of Weyburn borrowing bylaw for the purpose of obtaining a lower borrowing rate of interest to be read a second time. Thank you, Councillor Wheeler. Seconder, please. I'll second that, Your Worship. Thank you, Mill. Any discussion? All in favor? That is carried. Your Worship, I'd like to make the motion that bylaw 2020 3408 to amend the bylaw 2020 3407, the City of Weyburn borrowing bylaw for the purpose of obtaining a lower borrowing rate of interest to be given three readings at this meeting. Seconder. I second that, Your Worship. Thank you. All in favor? Carried unanimously. And again, Councillor Wheeler. Your Worship, I'd like to make the motion that bylaw 2020 3408 to amend bylaw 2020 3407, the City of Weyburn borrowing bylaw for the purpose of obtaining a lower borrowing rate of interest to be read a third time and passed. I'll second that, Your Worship. Thank you. 
Any questions? All in favor? Carried unanimously. Thank you, and uh, good work on that, Laura, for saving us some money. I hope it was on your goodwill that that happened, so uh, take credit for it anyway. There you go, <laughs> thank you. Uh, under new business and uh, Prairie Sky Co-op request, and I'll call on uh, Manager Warren at this time to explain this. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, Council received a letter on December 19th from Prairie Sky Co-op um, in regards to um, a tie-in uh, that they want to have for water and sewer services to the current location at the gas bar um, outside of town on Highway 13. Um, so a little background. Um, this is for uh, a new building, so the new um, home center, uh, which is being built in the arm of Weyburn. Uh, background on this is that we currently have an agreement that we had set in October 15th of 2014, uh, or 2004, sorry, uh, for the gas bar location. Uh, within that, uh, there were some different things uh, they had within clauses. Uh, so one, uh, transfer of ownership. The city is responsible for the sewer and water mains extending east from the intersection of Queen Street and First Avenue Northwest. Um, second, the customer agrees to pay water and um, sewage um, supply at 1.7 times the rate of the city rate. Um, the city reserves the right to restrict services at any point, and there's no interconnections uh, with any other water or sewer system. Uh, so what we had to happen is we actually had the, the engineering department do a review of the current um, usage within that area, and we actually use our annual unidirectional flushing program reports. Um, so when we went through this, um, if there was a tie-in for a new building, uh, we see no operational issues, so low pressures if this would occur. Um, flow rates uh, were expected uh, within um, the higher number one in that area, which is the no, uh, nearest point of transfer of ownership. Um, also, uh, within the building, they're proposing to have bathrooms uh, and staff room, and also a sprinkler system within that building. And the engineering and public works department are confident that the uh, increase um, would not affect the operations of that water line at all. Uh, so some rec uh, recommendations from administration to council tonight. Uh, one, uh, to have the Price Guy uh, Co-op Association Limited um, request for the rural uh, commercial utility connection and ch um, charge the fee of $25,000, which is a normal fee for uh, a rural uh, commercial hookup. Uh, two is to extend the current agreement uh, that is within the Weyburn Gas Bar, um, which is located on <coughs> Highway 13. That um, agreement expired uh, in 2014, and we'd like to establish a new agreement a part of this. And then uh, third thing is develop an agreement for the home center, uh, similar to what we have for agreement for the Weyburn Gas Bar, and have that agreement for 10 years. Thank you. Do we have a motion, please? Your Worship, I'll make a motion uh, that administration be authorized to sign an agreement with Prairie Sky Co-op for a rural commercial utility connection for the development of the Prairie Sky Co-op Home Center uh, in the rural municipality of Weyburn, subject to the following conditions. But Prairie Sky Co-op agree to pay the $25,000 water connection fee and that a 10-year agreement for the home center, similar to the Weyburn Gas Bar Agreement, which will include uh, the Weyburn Gas Bar, be signed by both parties. Now, a seconder, please. I'll second that, Your Worship. Thank you, Councillor. Any conversation and discussion? Yes. Thanks, Councilor. Your Worship. If I may, and to the City Manager, just to be clear, uh, this is a direct connection to the City of Weyburn. This does not involve the Weyburn Utility Board whatsoever. That's correct. Uh, so what we have is we have about um, 10 or so connections that are that way that are connected mm -hmm. directly to, to our line and not to the Weyburn Utility Board. Uh, so this is following a current line that connects to the gas bar, which should connect out to the new right. home centre. And if I may, Your Worship, yep, one more cool. question. Uh, and the $25,000 connection fee, that is established all as part of our off-site development uh, levy, correct? Uh, that's correct. Uh, so the commercial hookup <coughs> fee was actually established in 2016, I believe, uh, approved by Council. Um, and we do the same thing within that process. Thank you. Anyone else? So all of the cost, uh, Manager Warren, is... Uh, on them. That's correct. The, the yeah. trenching, the yeah. whole So, so the connection from the site onto their new site is all at their cost. Uh, $25,000 fee is just a connection to the city system. So the sewer line then is gray water only That's as correct. I understand it. That's correct. Yeah, similar to what we call the gas bar the truck stop has now. That's so. correct. Okay. Thank you. Any other discussion? I'll call the question. 
All in favor? That's carried unanimously. Thank you for that. And uh, wish the uh, co-op well in their business uh, to uh, to go out there and to have a new home center. I know um, that's a big step for them. And uh, so good on them to uh, invest again in, in the city and, and uh, RM to uh, expand their business, if you will, increase it. Inquiries and announcements. I have a couple here. I would uh, speak to the first as um, we knew that uh, most of us uh, took part in the SUMA convention in Regina uh, starting last Sunday and went through until Wednesday about noon. Um, many, most of us were there over that course of time. Um, one of the big things that came out of the SUMA uh, convention, Saskatchewan Urban M Municipalities Association, it was a name change. And uh, if you've been listening to the news, uh, it was a surprise to me because I hadn't heard about it. Uh, maybe I didn't read deep enough, but uh, I, and there has been some feedback about the name change. Uh, I'm not sure if it's good or bad at this point, but uh, w when you change an organization of uh, that magnitude, a name change, uh, I know it wasn't, they talked about it being done over several years of looking at this and re-identifying or rebranding, I think is what they called it. So uh, uh, we had that. The trade show was probably one of the best ones that I've ever been to. Um, lots of exhibitors um, had a lot of good time to uh, talk to people about um, their products uh, and things that we know that are going on in Weyburn that we could possibly use someday and have into. So I felt the, uh, the seminars, uh, most of them were pretty good. Some of them were a little slow, but we can accept that, I guess. Uh, but all in all, it was uh, a pretty good four day uh, stint for most of it. That's all I have to say, and some of you can go. Councilor Mickle, yes. Thank you, Worship. Uh, uh, City Manager Matthew, can you give, give us an update of what's happening at our swimming pool? I uh, sure can, Councillor Mickle. Um, right now, um, we're working on getting the pool up and running, indoor pool up and running again. Um, for us, with the, the pool is now filled. Uh, we're just waiting for a part uh, to actually get the boiler up and running. Uh, once we get the boiler up and running, uh, we have to give it a time to get the temperature back in the pool. Uh, at that time, uh, with our, our regulations through health, we actually have to have that water tested. Um, so the plan is once the temperature comes up, uh, we'll, we'll have that water tested. Uh, once we get approval for there, we can move forward and have it open. Uh, we're have to, uh, hoping to have it open sooner than later. Uh, right now, I don't have a time frame for that. Uh, I know that our staff's been working really hard over at the pool to, one, bring the pool back up, and, and two, to, to work with our patrons. Um, I, I know our patrons are, are, are wanting to have that place open, and I don't blame them to have that back open. It's a big thing for us. Uh, so the one thing they're doing, if anyone had a, a membership, so a monthly membership, a yearly membership, all those kind of things, uh, as long as we're closed, we'll extend those memberships. The um, thing that we always want to do as a city is, is once we are ready to be operational again, is get that public notice out. So we'll work with our uh, public relations staff and make sure we get that information out. The um, big thing for us is, is to make sure it's done properly, uh, to make sure we follow all the public health regulations and have it open and, and ready for the public again, and hopefully sooner than later. Thank you, Matthew. It'd be, it'd be great if we could have it for Monday, February 17th, Family Day, but I know you work towards that. Hopefully. Anything else from council? I'd, I'd like to do, introduce Megan. She's got some exciting stuff here uh, happening. So Megan, it's all yours. Thank you. So the um, City of Weyburn Youth Council is hosting a skating event at the uh, downtown community rink, which is on the corner of Service and Second Avenue, Second Street, sorry. And it'll be held from 11:30 to 1:30 on Family Day. So we invite everyone to bring your skates and your helmet and your warm clothes to come out for a skate with the Red Wings. And we are also barbecuing hot dogs and having hot chocolate and we will um, all the money collected from that will be going to kids sport as a donation um, there will be a fire pit there to help you keep warm and we hope that everyone comes out on the stat holiday to spend it with their families yeah thank you very good and uh, 
just congratulations for your organization to take this on. And I know Councillor Mickel is going to be there skating because he gives lessons once a week. <laughs> it's supposed to be warm, so the temperature might uh, agree with us uh, quite well. I know on previous family days, uh, we've been very unsuccessful uh, with whether either it's melting or it's 40 below. So hopefully uh, Monday will be the perfect day. Anything else for this evening? If not, I will adjourn this meeting. <laughs>